What's up guys? It's Kelly and today I've got another swatch and review for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new stuff and let's get started. So today I have a very exciting review for you. I am bringing you guys the Essie Fall 2020 collection and the reason this is exciting is because you guys ask me all the time why I don't review Essie and there's no beef, there's no tea, there's nothing crazy going on. It's just, it's actually an outdated reason because I didn't like their old formula or their old brush and you guys have been telling me that their formula has been updated, their brush has been updated, so I thought I would give them another try, especially now for fall 2020 because we've been getting so many good fall collections this year and I was like, you know what, I'll try the Essie one. So yeah, I have a lot of thoughts on that, but I'll, I'll save my opinions for the end. In the meantime, if you guys haven't heard of Essie before, they are a mainstream salon brand and they are three free, meaning they are free of three of the dangerous chemicals that are often found in nail polish. So we've got six brand new earthy jungle inspired polishes, so let me show you guys the swatches and then we'll We'll talk about my feelings afterwards. So roll footage. As always, I am using base coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and prevent any stains. Today I am using the Cuccio base coat, so I'll link it down below for you guys. So first up in this collection, we have the shade Adrenaline Brush, and this is just your classic red cream, really impressive opacity. It does not have that jelly-like feel that I feel like a lot of reds tend to have. This is definitely a cream. It was pretty much one coat opacity for me, but I did end up putting on a second coat. And as you can see with that wide flat brush it was super easy application. I don't think that this color is necessarily earthy slash jungle inspired but it is a classic fall color so I do love it. Next up we have the shade Cargo Cameo which is a really pretty medium brownish orange shimmer and this is another one that had really impressive opacity. I was not expecting it to be this opaque in the first coat but I still had just a tiny bit of that visible nail line so I ended up throwing on a second. This is the kind of earthy jungle tone that I was expecting for all the colors in this collection and I don't know I'm just like on a brown nail polish kick for this season so I really did enjoy this one. It's a really beautiful color and I think with that orangey undertone it's just a universally flattering color to wear on any skin tone. Next up we have the shade Don't Be Spotted, which ironically is the brightest color in the collection. And this is a super light, bright, shimmery orange that has almost a little bit of a pearlized feel to it because you do get a little bit of that brush stroke streakiness. This was another one I was not expecting to be opaque at all, but it did end up giving me full coverage in almost the first coat. Here is the second coat just so you can see, and even though it was a little bit streaky, it did kind of smooth out pretty quickly as it dried. So a nice easy shade, very pumpkin-y. I'm, I'm digging it, surprisingly. Next up we have the shade Heart of the Jungle, which is your basic green cream cream shade and this is another great fall color. I'm totally loving it. Not sure how I feel about all of these colors together to be totally honest, but this color definitely won me over. This is a definite one coater and it's thick enough that you can get away with just wearing that one coat, but I am showing you guys two coats just so you can see what that looks like. But yeah, just a beautiful classic fall shade, really impressive formula. Next up we have the shade Waterfall in Love, which is a really beautiful blue cream. This one totally threw me off. I feel like it didn't really fit in with the collection. This one and actually the next one too. I feel like we're not really on the same page. There were a lot of just basic cream colors in this collection and while I do appreciate having those as staples in my collection, I'm not sure that they specifically felt fall to me. They kind of just feel for the most part like any time of year colors. But that said, I do think that this is such a gorgeous color. Really impressive formula, really impressive opacity, and seriously this is a beautiful blue color. And finally we have the shade Swing of Things. This is a deep warm purple almost like a magenta kind of shade with that cream finish and this was another one basically my feelings on all of the creams in this collection are they're really impressive coverage really nice formulas super smooth and easy to work with but the colors are kind of basic nothing that we haven't seen before and i'm not sure that they're particularly fallish at least not together I'm not sure that the collection is super cohesive but the colors individually are really impressive and i very much enjoyed them so yeah those are the polishes and honestly this was not the experience that I was expecting. You guys are absolutely right. The formula is different from what I used to use years ago when I used to use Essie and I don't have any of those old polishes anymore because I, I ended up giving them away to friends and family because I really wasn't a fan of the Essie formula but this was a very different experience from those old polishes. The 
formula was super smooth and easy to work with. The opacity was like basically one coat for a lot of these, which was really impressive. Now, that being said, I do think that it might just be because these are easy colors, like for more pastel-y kind of lighter colors. I'm not sure how that formula is, so I still want to try other stuff from Essie just to see if that's right across the board or if they might be a little bit inconsistent with that. So I'm not too sure just yet. But with all that said, the individual polishes are really gorgeous and I love the colors, but altogether I do not think that this is a cohesive collection. I know that doesn't matter to most people, but I have talked to you guys before about how personally I love when a collection looks really beautiful together. I'm not sure. I feel like it, it must be the blue that's throwing it off because the rest are like very typically fall colors. And I love that blue. Don't get me wrong. That's a really gorgeous blue nail polish. But I feel like it just doesn't make sense in this collection and it's thrown off the whole thing for me. But other than that, I mean, I really did have a pleasant experience with them. I'm definitely interested in trying more from Essie. I loved that rounded flat brush. It was so easy to work with and it was so just smooth to paint onto my nails very easy formula to work with too, which was very impressive. I shouldn't be surprised, but I, I really did enjoy the experience. If you guys want to see me review Essie more frequently, I can totally do that. Just let me know in the comments, but yeah. Yeah, pretty good experience. <laughs> so these bottles are 13.5 milliliters each and you can get them anywhere that SE is sold. On the SE website, it directs you to Target and there they are $8.99 USD each. So I will link that one down below for you guys. You can also grab them at any of the stores that they sell SE in. But yeah, so that is it for this video. I would love to know your thoughts. I'm curious to see what other people think about SE. I haven't reviewed them, oh my gosh, in years. <laughs> so I don't know what you guys think of SE, but let me know in the comments. Are you a fan? of them? Are you not a fan of them? Why? Tell me. I want to know. And also, what do you think of this collection? Are you a fan? Do you think they're not very cohesive like I think? Or, you know, tell me your thoughts. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy my swatch and review videos. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. And that's it for this video. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Okay, today's fun fact comes from Patreon supporter Christopher, and Christopher wants to know, do you believe in ghosts? I feel like the answer to this depends on the time of year, because like during spooky season, I'm all about ghosts. <laughs> and I've actually been listening, I'm not even a podcast person, but just to, like get myself in the fall mood, I've been listening to a lot of ghost podcasts and like unexplained mysteries and stuff like that. Actually, those are more like aliens, but yeah, I don't... I guess I, I generally don't, although does anybody remember when I had that whole situation in my other apartment where there were always like people in top hats standing over me in my sleep? <laughs> I mean, it was like half dream state, but they also could have been ghosts. I'm not really sure. But a lot of people actually thought that they were ghosts and that I was just experiencing ghosts. But yeah, I don't I don't really have those dreams anymore. Ever since I left that apartment, I don't, I'm not having those dreams. So maybe they were actually ghosts. I'm not sure. Do you guys believe in ghosts? Let me know. All right, that's it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.